and you're from Perth as well. Yeah. So obviously, it's quite it's so important in Perth to have a space for yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, music and sound engineers. And at one point, you know, Clearwater was the only studio in Perth. Yeah. So it's obviously it's, it's really important in, to the city. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, do you think you'll ever come back to Perth? <laughs> oh, one day, yeah. For sure, for <laughs> yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I think, like, I mean, I can't imagine my you know like <clears throat> i think i started using clearwater when i was 14 mm -hmm. um so a long time ago and um i can't imagine what it would have been like if it wasn't there because <clears throat> you know i started playing a band and, and and it was like you know there was a rehearsal space and there was only one and then we were to record some songs so it was like um you know, just we paid for like two hours live recording. It was you know nothing, but just being able to have the experience of recording and stuff, and um, didn't quite know to what extent how good a service that that had the potential because we'd obviously paid two hours and it was a quick thing, but we didn't realize that if you know if we had the the budget and the time and the focus, you know, the studio actually was capable of doing massive things. Um, and it was only after I kind of. I guess started working there, realized, you know, the the just how good all the stuff they had was. Um, but I definitely can't imagine what would have happened if it didn't exist. <laughs> and like, I don't know if I would have kind of kept pursuing playing music with bands if there wasn't a rehearsal space or, you know, kind of dipping in and out of recording demos and that kind of thing. Mm. Um, and then, I mean, even if it's not the only studio that exists anymore I think like there's longevity with the studio you yeah. know it's like it's got history it's got history I mean it's been around for so long and it's, a, it's the same people running it mm -hmm. um, it's like a family run business as well everyone knows everyone mm -hmm. um, you know and I, I always had good experiences when I was working here like with you know I kind of felt the, the people that are genetically family and then the people that have been here so long they're practically our family it was kind of like getting taken into a family yeah that's and that's. they offer so many opportunities to lots of people so obviously i'm just coming on now to help support and run the studio with yeah. fiona and it's I mean, kind of well, i've known fiona now for three four years and she's kind of yeah. like she's raised me up into a little music lady yeah, so yeah. you know it's it's all about kind of um supporting each other and supporting the creative scene i think in the wider community as well because yeah, yeah. Well, perth can um perth's a great place but it can sometimes be a bit you know, there's not as much creativity as Glasgow and Edinburgh yeah, yeah, yeah. and Aberdeen, etc. So it's nice to be able to have somewhere that you know people can go. Yeah. And tell stories. Exactly. I mean, it was a it was a social thing for me as well, like mm -hmm. playing music, playing a band, and you know, I would always look forward to going to rehearsal rooms and and being able to play music. And <clears throat> you know, we got to know the people working, you know, on the studio side of things, just even when we're a band, because they would come and listen to us and. Mm -hmm that helped promote us to play gigs and it wasn't just like we paid for their service to use a rehearsal room for two hours and that was it, you know, like there was all sorts of um, enthusiasm that went into kind of pushing, you know, us as a young band at the time to play music and then eventually me as an aspiring to, uh, music producer to come in and start producing stuff and yeah. Fantastic, yeah. that's great. Yeah. Well, I think that's us. Cool. <laughs>